Next we're going to discuss Proton NMR in particular, um, the integration uh, of the intensity of the peaks. Um, NMR machines can display the, the integrals. In hydrogen NMR they're particularly useful um, as they are directly related to the number of hydrogens in the um, environments create, that create those peaks. Um, the NMR machines can display them one of two ways. Um, the first method shown in the handout um, is the horizontal integral trace where the uh, horizontal line rises by the integral as it crosses each peak. Um, in the example given in the handout um, we can quite clearly see that there are two peaks given by two hydrogen environments, the CH2 group and the two identical CH3 groups. Um, from measuring the integrals and comparing them to each other you can see that they're in a 1 to 3 ratio and um, this obviously matches the structure as there are in the first peak that CH2 group with two hydrogens in the second peak there are those two CH3 groups total of six hydrogens 2 to 6 same as 3 to 1 um, alternatively an arbitrary number may be printed below or at the top of each peak um, the ratio of these numbers can be used the same as comparing those two um, integrals. In the example um, given in the handout, there are two peaks. The first is for the carbonyl hydrogen, uh, and the second is for the three identical CH3 groups. The ratio of the peaks um, is 17.3 to 155.4, which is around about uh, 1 to 9. You won't get an exact figure. Um, just due to slight bits of noise, some errors in the sample. Um, obviously a peak of one to nine, there is one hydrogen in the carbonyl environment, there are nine hydrogens on those three identical CH3 groups, it matches the structure. Um, an interesting thing about uh, both of these spectres is, um, as discussed previously, you can see the TMS peak, tetramethylsilane, which was used as the solvent. Um, it is clearly marked as it will be on most. Next we're going to discuss uh, carbon-13 NMR. Now, unlike carbon-12, uh, where the nucleus is not magnetically active, um, the carbon-13 nucleus has a spin state of a half. Uh, the natural abundance of this isotope is only around about 1.1%, so um, it is 1 so 5,700th of the sensitivity of uh, hydrogen or proton NMR. The large coupling constants for um, carbon to hydrogen and carbon-13 give rise to very complicated spectra um, and usually uh, noise decoupling is applied um, by a wideband generator um, it, it removes these couplings. That however does lead to spectra in which coupling is removed, you will only see uh, singlets um, and for this reason um, it's often necessary to run a coupled NMR spectra um, in order to gain more information about the environments. In the example, uh, the first example, it shows the coupled spectrum. Um, you can quite clearly see that there is a triplet peak um, coupling. So that shows coupling, obviously, as we previously stated, to two hydrogens. Um, so it's either adjacent to two identical CH groups or one um, CH2 group. Um, you can also, it's labeled on there with a quartet. Again, coupling to three hydrogens, could be coupling to three identical CH groups coupling to a CH2 group and a CH3, sorry, CH group, or coupling to a, a single CH3 group. Um, the second example shows the simple decoupled spectrum. Um, there are six peaks uh, due to the symmetry um, in the compound. Um, I believe that it, uh, it, yes, it is dimethyl um, phthalate, so obviously well, there are more than six carbons. Due to symmetry there is less than than the environments and there are the number of carbons, so you only see six peaks. The carbon-13 spectra cannot be integrated like a hydrogen um, NMR um, to give the relative number of carbon atoms corresponding to each peak, so it is necessary to combine a carbon-13 NMR spectra with a DEPT spectra or depth spectra to identify quaternary carbons and CH2, CH2 and CH3 groups. Uh, DEPT stands for Distortionless Enhancement by Polarization Transfer. 
Uh, there are three types of depth spectra um, that can be used to compare to NMR spectrum. <coughs> there is depth, the DPT-135, um, which displays only the CH and CH3 groups. This can be very useful to compare to a decoupled um, carbon-13 spectra as um, any um, lone carbons or CH2 groups will not be present. Um, a DPT-90 spectra, which shows only um, CH carbon peaks, um, all of the peaks are removed, and DP45 which displays all protonated carbons giving the location of any lone carbon. Uh, the DPT spectra of co codeine is shown in the handout. 